各位亲爱的网友朋友，大家好。今天是我们念佛班的第五天。So today is day five of our chanting class. We receive lots of lots of messages from our online friends, especially you know,、um, telling me about different kinds of issues on their face, you know, acne or spots or、uh, marks or and. Well, before we actually observe the face,、um, now when we look at it, oh, it's quite terrible sometimes, you know.、Uh, Of, well, I'm sure you already have this diagram, and you can、uh, check this diagram. You can download it, you can print it out, and then you'll be able to learn whether it is accurate or not. Some people they don't know, and they might say, "Is it really like this?" But when you、uh, read it, it will, you will know how correct it is. And sometimes,、um, when you see that you have the problem in this area, you feel very Frightened, and I'm not trying to make you nervous. I want you to understand these indications and also be able to read the indicators and the signs of your loved ones, so that you can prevent things to happen. Yeah, so you can prevent earlier,、uh, prevent it to actually happen. Just like the、um, very、uh, the 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 great doctor in ancient China, Bian Chue. So you can adjust earlier, so that you can prevent serious problems to happen. So this is what we wish. So definitely make sure you will print it out when you read more and get familiar with it. Then you will、uh, you will be very clear about all the signs and. Only with this, when、uh, you listen to today's、uh, teaching, and then you check with this diagram, then you will understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. So anybody who <laughs> have already learned from me for like two years, and then you know later you don't even need a job, and you just. You know, just do facial reading, and then you can already have income. I'm not, yeah, I'm not making any money from reading. Yeah, because sometimes if I do not tell them the truth, then sometimes it's not pleasant. But if I tell the truth, you know,、uh, if I tell the truth, it's not pleasant. But if I don't tell the truth, that I'm not supposed to. So okay,、uh, let's read. Well. Talk about these Q questions. So Jin Shandong said, "Oh, I'm a lady, and there's a brownish,、uh, blackish,、uh, like a, a mole. Should we remove it?" So Grandmaster says, "It depends on、uh, the location of the mole and、uh, the color of it. So it means differently. So we have a general rule on our face."、Uh, Uh, besides all these facial organs,、uh, anything else, the less the better. And so, because she asked me whether we should remove it, so、uh, if it is very, it's black but very shine, very、uh, like shining, glowing, then you can keep it. And also those bloody red、uh, marks, you can also keep it. Uh, the other ones you don't need to keep them. It might have something to do with illnesses. Might indicate some illnesses, or even corresponds to some、uh, something in your life, some obstacles or some setbacks in your life. So if it is not that color that I mentioned, can keep then. <coughs> Then you、uh, you might want to remove it, but if you think I'm already used to it, well, it's up to you. So、uh, another friend said, "Oh, I have a big mole、uh, on my、uh, chin, and so you know,、uh, so in my whole life, actually, most of the time I was a matchmaker. I've already、uh, helped many couples to meet each other, and you know, and become a." Uh, and become a couple, and so just think about those movies. Anybody who have been a matchmaker for over 15 years, and around their mouth, either the left or right or up or down, there must be 
uh, either a mall or a ward or something. So it would be very easy for them to, you know, to make, uh, to establish some bridges for the man and woman. Maybe that's their mission. When I see that uh, uh, mall or, <coughs> or the, the ward, so our mouth is like the the Venus or the the water star. So you see, it's the water. So this wall or this mall, it's like the like the boat. So the boat in the river, boat in the water, helps to. Um, pull the two people together. Yeah, so if you don't have a uh, mole around your mouth, probably it would be very hard for you to um, to connect the, the young man and woman or whatever, you know, the man and woman together. So uh, they're very good at talking them together. And so uh, they're not cheating them, but they always know uh, what is the right word to do. Oh, look at that girl, you know, yeah, her face is so pretty, her leg is so, you know, so beautiful, and her skin is so tender, wow. Yeah, she just has that golden purplish glow. And, you know, yeah, just look at her uh, color, you know, the skin color and teeth color. And, you know, it's just very brings a lot of prosperity. Wow, a lot of honest men would be like, wow, they would think, oh, wow, this girl must be the best girl. And she would say, wow, yeah, she just has such a beautiful figure. Um, yeah, she's over uh, 1 meter 68, and yeah, just she's just so good at talking. You see, oh, she has uh, quite a few certificates from a graduate certificate from, you know, preschool and three from... <laughs> <laughs> elementary school because she <laughs> repeatedly did a grade five three times. You know, she it's not because she couldn't uh, be admitted to high school. It's just because she really loved the teacher in grade five. So see, she's so loving. Yeah, if you marry her, she would be so loving. So she always says something <laughs> that is very pleasant to hear. Uh, so she always says something very positive about this person. Of course, of course, the, uh, uh, the other party would love to hear. And so she would say, oh, she has so many, or he has so many advantages. Well, the shortcoming is not serious at all. Yeah. So uh, only at three years old, um, she stole like some ice cream and took back home and somebody and chased them. So she just talk about something that's very easy for people to uh, accept and pleasant to hear. And so very good at presenting and expression. And so they actually work with their mouth. Yeah. A lot of our online friends are so happy. Wow, they're the best for uh, salesperson or matchmaker. Yeah, in today's world, if you can be a matchmaker, you have lots of merits. Because a lot of people right now, they don't know how to find uh, a boyfriend or girlfriend. They couldn't find. And because they're not very good at express themselves. And they really need a matchmaker to help them to connect, Yeah, to, to build that bridge between and so uh, like yeah for the matchmaker to say all, all these pleasant words on each side so as a matchmaker you have lots of merits and so you don't need to remove this more continue to work on that matchmaker yeah well immeasurable merits okay and uh, Ji Ming Liang said, oh, I have marks on either side of the temple. It's already over 10 years. And uh, it's coming down. It's growing down now. So uh, what does it mean? Yeah. So it's uh, the mark on both sides of the temple. And so let's look at this picture. It is, okay, look at this diagram, the facial appearance and health diagram. This diagram is not complete. And 
As long as you can understand some, it's probably already very good. But around that temple, it, it is the liver area. It always has something to do with emotions. So for somebody who have already married, if they're already married, if there are any uh, you know, marks or moles or acne or something, usually this indicates some, uh, you know, some relationship crisis. So if there's a, a brown or dark mark, they might have some problem in their relationship. Um, maybe endless problems. Yeah, it could be like that. So the solution is you need to, uh, you know, adjust your liver, your spleen, and your stomach, your basically your digestion system. So these kind of people, they have a lot of liver fires, so they have those uh, those kind of dryness. Yeah. So they need to. Yeah, those pentadenic dryness. And so they need to eat some food that will nurture and the uh, liver and spleen and uh, stomach. So less deep fried or baked food and dried food with dry energy. But eat food can that can balance the energy more cooling, uh, like en food with cooling energy, because uh, everybody has a habit in their diet. Uh, sometimes they, the, the habit is not very balanced, so the diet is going to some extremes. So, um, I would suggest you to have a, a balanced diet with yin and yang energy. So cold and warm, balanced and uh, dry and <coughs> also uh, wet will be balanced and, you know, winter and summer balanced, sweet and salty balanced and so balance all of these uh, factors and aspects so if you eat something dry you need to also eat something that will uh, that that's more wet and nurture your yin and nurture your lungs. So this, when I'm uh, reading her question, she has probably too much fire in the liver, so she needs to adjust her diet. And why too much uh, fire in the liver will affect marriages? <laughs> Yeah. So Joy said, yes, uh, when you have a lot of fire in the liver, then you would be very, um, yeah, so you might be irritated very easily. And who is the closest to you will be affected by you the most. So maybe if you go to work, if your manager is, uh, you know, has a lot of fire in the liver, then all the employees and the staff will really suffer uh, because he, she would always, he or she, the manager, would always scold people and, and be angry. And three or five days a month, uh, he or she will always be angry and people really cannot handle. So what should we do? So maybe we could uh, offer some uh, <laughs> coconut water <laughs> to them. Or <laughs> so whoever has a very strong personality and uh, the person who would be uh, hurt by this strong personality person uh, is the person who is closest to them, uh, like the colleague and at home, of course, uh, partner and parents and children. Yeah, it's just because uh, too much dryness and fire in the liver uh, she might always feel like everybody owes he or owes her something, and so there will be, you know, uh, 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 like just without any reason, they would be irritated. They will just, and their eyebrows will be 
very heavy and thick, and their mouth would be pretty um, wide and big. And, and for men, they would have uh, yellowish hair and uh, eyeballs and also uh, yellowish mustache and beard. So some people, their forehead is very narrow, but then their, uh, their jaw is wider, so it looks like uh, the fire, when we, when we draw fire, you see, uh, on the top is narrower and the, on the bottom is wider, right? So they are like uh, a natural fire, natural flame. Yeah, so a lot of people uh, in Northeast China, those men were like this. A lot of people have too much fire in their liver. And people who are very arrogant, all, they also have a lot of fire in their liver. They would think, ah, oh, I'm the only person who have income. And uh, in my company, I'm the leader. And they think that they are very capable. And so arrogant people, they're not, they're not necessarily very strong, uh, very uh, uh, powerful, but they usually will have a lot of fire in their liver that they are very arrogant. So uh, a lot of fire in the liver will cause a lot of, you know, something grow on the, on the face. So, <coughs> Yeah, so there are these kind of cloasma uh, that grow on on the face. <laughs> it's like a kind of pancake in China. It's that kind of color. It's the color of fire. It's the color of burning. And so these all comes from fire. So if you adjust yourself, then the uh, these marks will be lightened, and then your marriage and other relationship will be more in harmony. When the fire lessens, their eyes will also be brighter. Your lips will be more moisturized and will be uh, in a very fresh red color yeah and very uh, bright red yeah and uh, Jing Yo Gao said, oh, uh, his child when he was sleeping because he has uh, allergies so always rub his nose and then the the top of the uh, nose bridge is now slanting and, and in the daytime he, the child always has bleeding nose. Oh, it's actually a mother, so she doesn't know what to do. So the mother really cares about the child. Uh, uh, well, so what should we do? I'm sure this is the true problem. So when the child is sleeping, maybe you can tell the story and also touch the child's face and you can use your thumb to very gently push the nose to the other side and you also put your thought there okay move the bridge over there maybe you can tell the story and sing a lullaby at the same time and then you push slightly uh, back and uh, eventually it, it can be corrected no, thank you grandmaster ming ming asks uh, he or she said the right eye on the end of the right eye on top of that right eye there's a black mole and before there was no uh, mole there so it is yeah at the end of the eyebrow and above the eyelid yeah moles can grow anywhere right so uh what does that area correspond to? Yeah, it's basically the liver area still. And it can indicate something with liver and something with kidney. Yeah, liver and kidney together. And also, uh, it depends on the uh, mole, whether that is a, a, a cloisma or, or like 
yeah, very, or it's black but shiny or, or glowing. Yeah, if it is black and glowing, then you can keep it. If it is not, if it is not that good mole, then you should, uh, I suggest you to remove it. But also, it might mean the liver has some potential issues. Either liver or the gallbladder has some potential issues because the whole eye socket uh, generally it belongs to the kidney area, so affects the vital energy. When there is a mark or a mole, or a uh, clausma there. Yeah, if the kidney has big problem, the whole socket, eye socket would be very dark. When it is just a mole, mm, it has something to do with liver. Yeah, so she or he needs to pay attention, maybe need to practice more. Uh, cultivate, Grandmaster says you need to cultivate your heart when you are always very calm and peaceful. If you can manage your emotions very well, then it can be well. A lot of the problem, uh, including, you know, even starting from 20 years old to 50 years old, a lot of issues. It's not something that you uh, you cause in this life, it could be inherited, and some illnesses suddenly ex appears at 50 years old or 70 years old. It's all because of genes. But I suspect, well, here, I suspect it has something to do with genes, but a lot of times uh, the genes not only give you a mark, yeah, maybe they will give you not only the mark, but also the corresponding organ will also have that issue. So uh, he or she might have either uh, some liver issues or maybe a kidney, even possibly kidney stone. So thank you, Grandmaster. And a Lai, Miss Lai said uh, her uh, grandson has very dark teeth. What? What's the reason of that? Well, Grandmaster said, if you only say the teas are very dark, I don't know what uh, his diet is like. Does he like candy, chocolate, uh, or, you know, sodas or Coke and those carbonated drinks? So, yeah, so those carbonated drinks, uh, if you drink, actually, it, they have a lot of side effects and very obvious side effects, like a tin of carbonated drink. You know the sugar cubes. One can of carbonated drink yeah, equals to 12 of those sugar cubes, yeah, yeah, just, just the sugar. So all of a sudden, like instantly, you very quickly you drink uh, that tin of soda or tin, tin carbonated drink, and then you're bringing like 12 sugar cubes inside. So that will bring you lots of excitement because so many calories. And secondly, it brings some, something would it hurt your stomach and your internal organs? Uh, if you Google online, there's a very good uh, medical organization in the United States and a very nice uh, medical profession professional. Yeah. So he did a lot of investigations into, uh, you know, the drinks and the teas. Uh, in some states, a lot of children, they have, like the drinks actually burn their, we could say they burn their teas. So I, I watch on YouTube, uh, they, somebody put a fish into a glass, uh, into a glass, and then put some carbonated 
drink there. The second day, the, the fish completely disappeared. It's not that this fish disappeared. Well, it's like complete the fish was melted into the carbonated drink. And so, yeah, even the fish bones are melted into carbonated drink. It's so corrosive. So if you uh, repair your bicycle uh, yourself, and if some parts have is too greasy, then you could just uh, wash the uh, the, the, the greasy parts with the like Coke or some, some carbonated drinks. It can also cause diabetes and other diseases. So this child, does he has any um, bad diet? And also now uh, people don't have many children. And because you can have birth control and you could even control when to have a child. And the fewer people we have, um, you know, we, we have, we put more love on this child. Sometimes we spoil the child. Whatever the child wants and we will always give, even if he wants, um, even if he wants the moon. In the past, you know, at home, uh, well, every family, sometimes they have over 10 children. And so mm, the children can get very few. And so now, uh, a normal family, yeah, most of their family income are, are actually put on that the children. And the good thing is that the children will get more, but their diet actually uh, will have a lot of problems. When we're talking about this, that reminds me of another phenomena. So yesterday, an online friend wrote to me, and he said uh, his, cho his child has a bad habit when eating. Whenever it's the time for meals, he can, uh, he's too full to eat. But at other times, well, the child is about three or five years old, he would just take some something to eat. His mouth would never stop eating anything. So his mouth is always biting and eating. However, uh, when it's lunchtime or supper time, he he's too full to eat anything. Yeah, of course, because he hasn't stopped uh, eating something. So what kind of food he's, he had been eating? So a lot of snacks, you know, uh, high sugar, high cholesterol, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, a lot of preservatives. And so this child put a lot of those in his stomach. And even though he ate a lot, but his body uh, is still lack of nutrition because a lot of those snacks are very um, processed food. And so they didn't want to remove the nutrition, but the nutrition has been already you know, consumed or, or reduced. And so for uh, this question, when your child or your grandchild uh, has very dark teeth and you need to look at their diet, if this child uh, doesn't eat candy, doesn't eat any carbonated drink, and still have very dark uh, teeth, uh, then um, yeah, your parents must have some toxin or the, the bone, yeah. So their bone must have some problem when somebody who, uh, yeah, when somebody died and if you see that they're, um, yeah, so it must be some poison when somebody die and you see that the teeth uh, are black and their bones are black, it's because of trioxide or arsenic, arsenic. So you really need to uh, try some ways to definitely get the child back to very healthy diet. Yeah, thank you. Uh, another friend, online friend said, uh, Yi Cong said, uh, you know, uh, on his right side of the face about the small intestine area, and it is when, uh, well, he had 
He and uh, where the nasal labial folds are, he had two molds, but the uh, after some practice, the upper mold has completely disappeared, but uh, there, the lower one is still there. So Grandmaster says, uh, if it is a color mark, if you practice very well, uh, if you're lucky or uh, you know, within, you know, after six months, these color marks can dissipate and even disappear because your, um, func the function of your body is getting to normal and healthy. And so the, uh, those marks would slowly dissipate. So at the nasal libel folds, if uh, there are two very visible and clear molds or marks, uh, it not it won't necessarily be able to uh, dissipate. Uh, according to Buddhism, it, maybe it's because of bad karma, so it will be with you for a whole year, but some may disappear. If you think it's a problem, uh, maybe you can do some laser surgery uh, or some, some, some surgery to remove it. Mm. Just through practice to remove a, a mole or a wart is uh, not very likely. Yeah, so through the practice, uh, what the mole indicates that potential risk, health risk, can be removed. However, the external color may not completely disappear, so you can use the surgery to, uh, to uh, remove it. And another friend said uh, her five-year-old child on the uh, left side of, uh, yeah, on the corner of her left eye, close to the nose, there's a black mole, and these two years it becomes bigger and bigger. Do you know what area that is on the left corner of the, uh, the corner of the left eye? It's the mammary gland, so it's not on the nose bridge, but it's the side of the nose, and it's uh, the corner of the left eye, so that for uh, women, it uh, corresponds to mammary gland on the breast. Uh, what is his? What is her question? So her question is that so she has two questions. So for this external mole, what should? she do because it doesn't look pretty so you should go you can go to a very good hospital or do a good surgery uh, it's not very difficult but a lot of those uh, moles or warts they have the root even if you uh, remove the surface, they will still grow. And what if they grow, then you have to remove again. And it depends on the uh, surgeon. Uh, if they're very experienced, they would know whether it has the root. And if it has the root, they will tell you, oh, if you remove it, it has the root, so it will grow again. And so this question is about just the appearance, how to remove it. And uh, the second question is about the corresponding uh, issue on the uh, mammal gland or the breast. So if that's a, a girl, then you need to uh, take care of your breast. It is very hard to say how to prevent that issue. Do you know of any any way that can completely prevent a breast issue? There is no uh, a guaranteed way. Oh, this is a young, a little boy who has this mole. Oh, so for a little boy, so this uh, indicates the heart and the lung has problem. Uh, also, maybe the chest bones, these ribs uh, might have problems. Yeah. So these are all possible. Yeah.
if a girl has, uh, you know, you don't know how to prevent breast issues, and you know it's it corresponds to that area, so so for ladies, most like uh, most important is it uh, manage emotions. Yeah, a lot of people who have uh, breast issues. Uh, in a lot of situations, it's because of anger or, uh, yes, there's something that they hold in. And so if their liver doesn't have those fire, uh, and yeah, because when you have the fire, it's very easy to have negative emotions. And if you don't have the fire, then you always be very uh, calm and gentle. And so you don't get angry for uh, ladies. It would be easier to uh, maintain the breast health. Thank you, Grandmaster. And another online friend, Zeng Fang, said, uh, his or her face is full of freckles and age spots, and on the arms also many, many spots and marks. So how to improve it? So Grandmaster said it depends on uh, the age. Uh, yeah, especially when they have a lot, uh, it's very hard to, you know, solve this problem when they have a lot of age spot on the on the face then it, this indicates maybe it's because of genes or maybe in your childhood because of your health, your constitution, then you have these marks. So these indicates the, um, your uh, internal organs are not very healthy. So this is the only reason. Uh, what about this person is already old? And so today when we're discussing, Shankar asked, asked in English, they, they would say this is uh, a liver mark. Uh, even though this doesn't necessarily uh, absolutely because of liver, but it can be uh, reasonable. Why Western doctors call this liver marks? Uh, it, probably indicates that this mark has something to do with the energy released from the liver. So those uh, dryness, those dry and, uh, and fire, and uh, the, the stuck energy, yeah, that cause these marks and freckles. And so how to have a very calm and peaceful mind. Um, yeah, you can try to find some recreational activities, but uh, we're trying to teach everybody uh, another thing. It's about your diet. I just mentioned in our diet, we need to learn to balance yin and yang energy. A, quite a few people, especially uh, modern young people, mm they're always you know, those fast foods, say for example, chips and fries and uh, fried chicken and pizza, they are always, you know, baked or fried or uh, processed food. And, and yeah, or a lot of these kind of food mixed together. So those potato chips, uh, yeah, so those are... Yeah. Yeah, and those uh, fries, French fries, they actually are not using potatoes to do the fries, but they have mixed, mixed a lot of uh, ingredients. It's not actually uh, potato fries. It's not natural anymore. Uh, yeah, so 
A, a kid actually put the French fries under the bed after three months. But after three months, the fries were still the same color, the same shape, and still smells good. Uh, it has the reason because it, it is not natural food. So they might bring some harm to our health. Therefore, in our diet, we need to uh, adjust ourselves. So everybody needs to pay attention to this. So I'd like to remind everybody uh, to have some vegetables, you know, celery or real potatoes or, uh, you know, there are too many vegetables, right? And and also some melons, you know, honeydew or watermelon or hami melon or cantaloupe. A lot of those um, melons are the fruits from the summer. And so those summer fruits uh, actually have a cooling energy. So when you eat those melon with your baked food, so that's why a lot of people, when they eat baked food, they would have salad. Uh, and a lot of people also like fruit salad and vegetable salad. And then they would have some ice water. And then, yeah, the toast, they would eat the toast. Uh, has so many fire, how can they, um, you know, digest? So they will eat a lot of uh, vegetables and fruit and a lot of ice water and, and very, um, very dark tea, and then they would be able to digest it. But Chinese people, they, uh, you know, especially some young students, young uh, employees, they don't have much income, so when they choose food, they always need to eat very fast. So that's why a lot of people know instant noodle is not good, but they still will eat it. Uh, and so, uh, like Chinese people, before their entrance examination, they would buy maybe two boxes of instant noodles, and it quickly helped them to get full, but it will be harmful for their health. Sometimes the harm will uh, show in the same year, and sometimes you don't know it's poisonous. If you all keep on uh, eating hot pots, some are quite terrible. It can bring you a lot of harm. So, how, yeah, our diet can cause a lot of problems and cause a lot of marks. And some diet can really uh, balance out those energy. And some people say, oh, I have very good diet. It's a healthy diet, but I still have those marks. If you're over 60 years old, uh, those marks are actually a good thing. Oh, really? Why? I don't know, Grandmaster said. My master told me. So after 60 years old, to a certain age, say, for example, your whole uh, body, whether face or arm or, you know, they just, uh, yeah, very naturally have some age spot. Uh, my master says it actually indicates longevity. So when you're old, you ha you should your age. Then you need to have an age in some. A lot of people uh, can still uh, remove those marks, and when their face are very smooth, but their body has a lot of age spots. Uh, but when you are old, but yeah, if you're not a leader or some uh, actor or actresses that you need a very clean face, then otherwise having some age spots, it actually will indicate longevity. Oh, that's good. Uh, but for young people, if you have a lot of marks and yeah, moles, then it might indicate some health issues. So you need to uh, pay attention to your diet and exercise and rest. And yeah, so thank you, Grandmaster. And another online friend, uh, Ali asked, oh, a lot of friends asking the same question. So they have the acne on the top of the head. Why is that? Oh, uh, so let's also uh, look at the color of uh, these acne uh, or moles. So these acne, yeah, we're talking about acne, right? 
And the second is what or most, and the third is age or or birthmark. Uh, and also a color mark. And another one is it's because of some poisonous insects bite on it, and then they uh, they have some eggs under your hair. So this is uh, because of the the eggs are grow are there. Whether it's hard or soft, I don't know. Yeah, at the beginning, maybe it's hard, and then it becomes soft. <laughs> it's like a peach. At the beginning, it's hard, and then it grows soft. <laughs> if it is not so hard, then it's plumb. So you need to go to a doctor. A lot of times, you need to do a surgery, yeah, because it's the eggs with your flesh and it will uh, bring a lot of harm to your body yeah and then when they cut it you can see some like uh, like worms and but they are worm uh, like the eggs of the worm and so if you have that kind of uh, mole or what or mark so it also depends on the color, if it is uh, black but glowing, or when it's uh, very bright red, it's good. If, if it is just uh, like uh, light red, uh, it's not very good. So it depends on uh, the shape and the color. Some has, uh, maybe that has something to do with uh, the immune system deficiency. Yeah. So, uh, the, the most serious would be the lupus and also, uh, yeah, and maybe also it could be liver disease. Uh, actually, it's like a flower. They call it uh, a spider mark, and it, it's actually cancer. So you need to learn to uh, recognize. But Ali mentioned it's just an uh, agony. Well, because we don't, we're, we haven't seen that. You'd better go to uh, a specialist, a dermacologist. And Xiao Xue said, uh, well, close to her temple, uh, there's a black mole before. Uh, she doesn't have it. Only recently it's growing. It is bright red, about a millet size. If it is bright red, and it's millet size, uh, usually we call it uh, like red mole or zhu sha mole, and it's usually good. Maybe, it, what does it mean? It mean, may mean that your uh, interpersonal relationship will be good. Maybe you'll be happy or maybe you'll have more money. So it is positive. And yeah, oh, great. Thank you, Grandmaster. And the next, uh, Xiao Cheng. Uh, her his or her question is very long. Uh, I'm from Malaysia. I'm working in uh, Singapore. Uh, uh, actually, my skin issue started from 14 years old until now. Uh, my skin, uh, facial skin, always has acne. And I went to a beauty salon to do the <coughs> skin you know, cleansing and changed a lot of products. So after I graduate, I don't have a very high income, but most of the income are spent on washing my face and cleaning my face and buy those products. So um, I've seen the dermacologist and take a lot of medicine, and later the doctor said that I need to have even stronger medicine, so I stopped. And because of the skin issue, I don't eat anything deep fried or spicy, 
coffee or peanuts or seafood, and uh, anything that can uh, trigger the acne growth, I, I don't eat. Sometimes if I eat, uh, really want to eat them, I'm craving for them, I just eat something spicy or deep fried. And I don't work overnight, but for some reason, uh, it always grow, and I don't know what to do. <coughs> and there's still more questions. On the left face, under the mouth, there's a small. Before it was very small. Now it's very big. Should we? Shall I remove it? And it's on the left side of the face, uh, close to the ear. There's another mole just grow. Uh, I actually eat very uh, light food, and I don't drink cold drink. And usually I drink uh, lukewarm water. Why should? Uh, why do I have a lot of fire? My lips are very dry and very red and, and feel hot. And as if the water cannot distinguish the fire, shall I drink poor tea? And uh, recently, I have uh, a habit. I, I really like uh, perfumes. So, Grandmaster, would the perfume have any uh, effects on, on, the hum on our body? And also, the next question is, every week I would uh, meet my ma my mother once. I want to talk nicely to her, but whenever she start talking, I would talk back. I couldn't help. I was so anxious and worried about her that she didn't look after her body, and I would say something, and she would be unhappy. And I cannot handle her nagging. And so, but when I go back, I would regret uh, my attitude and my, you know, I'm not very. I was not very polite, so how to improve this? And so when I look at watch Grandmaster's live feed, I really worried about my health. Uh, I admit that my temper is too much and uh, the anger comes too much. I hope to have Grandmaster's guidance so uh, I can correct it. I definitely correct it. Uh, so let's go through her issues. So first, this is a, a single young a uh, girl, 28 years old, that she has a boyfriend. She said she's single. She has so many acne. Yeah, so, yeah. And she's already very careful for her diet. And so any food that can cause acne, she has already stopped eating them. But she also uh, told us about her personality. She, when she met her mother, she wanted to talk nicely to her mother and be very happy with her mother. But um, like, yeah, less than three words, then they, they would start to fight, and she couldn't help. <coughs> so, because, uh, you know, everybody constitution, including the digestion system and skin and blood type, everybody is different. So this girl, maybe her skin is more likely to grow uh, these kind of things. Yeah. So Christine said maybe that's oily. Uh, so she's very yeah young, but she's probably the kind of young people who are very more likely to grow acne, and so this kind of acne, uh, we call it like the uh, adolescence acne because it's more. Uh, likely to happen in adolescence. For uh, if she has a boyfriend, maybe this will be better. When she has a boyfriend, she might feel happier. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Chinese saying: <laughs> If you're a single and 28 years old, uh, you're you have lots of fire in your liver and always through tantrums. <laughs> if you're a single and 29 years old, you really need to leave your home. Yeah, because that's the age to get married. Is it would be good for her to have a, a boyfriend, but. Nowadays, a lot of people, they cannot find a very suitable uh, boyfriend or girlfriend. And so uh, maybe that's why she is very frustrated. And uh, so this is, you know, uh, she is over the adolescence probably. And 
yeah, and also as a young girl, she's full of energy. Yeah, but you also have a lot of pressure. Go to university, find a job, find a partner, and then get married and have children. So all these pressure, actually, all these things you need to be solved within ten years. So you have tons of of. Um, Tons of pressure, and to find someone who uh, is satisfactory is really not easy. It's not like you are ordering some clothes and then you can order something tailored to your body. But yeah, if that's not satisfactory, then you will feel unhappy or and so you really need to be very forgiving to find a partner yeah whether a boyfriend or girlfriend you probably need to be very forgiving to find one and also more relaxed and uh, low expectation don't have too high expectation if you want someone who is very handsome and graceful and, and uh, very humorous and uh, can play a lot of things if he has everything well he would be a god or at least a president so don't have too high expectations a lot of people who are very good at making uh, you know do magics or humorous then when they go home they're not humorous at all so there are lots of people like that so uh, what you only really want is someone who will truly live a good life with you you know uh, now we have lots of you know TV shows and and the girl asks oh are you humorous are you uh, so the MC asked, oh, tell me something about the most romantic thing with, with the, uh, a girl. She said, the most romantic thing is that I cooked the instant noodle for her. And then the girl really want to kill him. <laughs> so, are you silly? Your life, you only need romance? That's a definite, definite mistake. So, yeah. Yeah, for people who are very, very rich, maybe even if they uh, will kick you every day, you might want to marry, you know. Yeah, so you cannot have too many expectations. So young people, you want, yeah, don't always uh, check how much money they have and don't uh, attach too much on their appearance. Yeah, so don't be too attached to that. You should really be easy on those. If uh, your that man or woman is like a film star, then it shouldn't be yours, <laughs> most likely. Uh, it shouldn't be ours. Uh, yeah, if you find someone who is too handsome or too beautiful, won't you feel very risky or very a lot of pressure? You almost have to hold a knife with him or her her at the, all the time. Yeah, if you find a boyfriend or girlfriend who nobody would want him, you feel safe, right? And and if you, uh, yeah. So if you pick this person, then he or she will cherish you, and you feel safe, right? That's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> and it helps you to lose weight because then you, you don't want to eat too much because you are not that pleasant. If your mom cooked too much, then you will eat too much. Yeah. If your mother uh, is not a good chef, then you, you would become very slim, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So the mother would say, yeah, you should thank me because I don't cook well, so you you have a very nice figure. And so, <laughs> yeah, if the mother cooks too well, it would be too hard to, to lose weight, right? So there's nothing absolutely good or absolutely bad. So if you think this is good, then this is good, right? And if everybody said this is good, then you need to be careful. Then this would be too popular, <laughs> very hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people all like something safe. Yeah, this is more uh, 
down to the ground and safe. Yeah. So this girl, uh, she has a lot of fire, and her face has a lot of acne. Would, if you find a boyfriend, would you really cherish your boyfriend? I'm actually talking to everyone. A lot of you don't, right? And you say, oh no, ah, okay, so I'll, I'll just bear with it to with this boyfriend because I am already I'm almost going to deliver a baby and then afterwards you um, you don't love him so you find another lover so then the result won't be good so don't do that marriage because now uh, you know social media is very developed and you always think that uh, somebody who's far away is always the best when he's close then there's all kinds of issues, you know, income or illnesses or personality. Or, oh, when this person comes closer, too many defects. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just like, yeah, if a face is far away, you see that's, oh, very smooth. But when it's, when you get closer, you see all the marks. Yeah. So somebody who married a, a film star, yeah. So the film star looks so beautiful on the screen, but uh, in the daily life, she's actually not pretty at all. Yeah, everybody in China. Okay, I'm one film star. I don't want to uh, tell her name. At the time uh, when I was in Guangdong, I met her. She, it's really uh, beyond my expectation. Wow, she is a film star. Oh my gosh, she's really lucky. If this appearance can be a film star, then yeah, how come she looked pretty on the screen? So I asked some film stars, they said there's a kind of face, um, after they put makeup, they really look pretty, just like Joyce. Even without makeup, she's, she really looked good in the, in the screen. And uh, every day, it's also very, <laughs> Every day in the life, a lot of people will be frightened. But however, this will help me to be safe. Anyways, uh, we're joking too much. Okay. <laughs> so if you have this face and you, you know, have a lot of agony or whatever, a volcano spots or, or, or flames or whatever you call it. So I'm going to... Uh, share with you uh, a recipe that to to wash your face to pacify these um, agnes. Okay. So I think the green tea. No. Uh, when you drink tea, there's the a red tea and green tea, different categories. So green tea category and red tea category. Uh, the green tea, uh, the tea leaves are mostly green. Yeah. Uh, Usually, these are dry tea leaves. If they are greenish, then they're called uh, green tea, and they are less processed. And if the tea leaves are more uh, dark color, so they are either fermented or uh, more deeply processed. So our Bodhi poor tea, they are very deeply uh, processed and they are the red tea category. So green tea, what, whatever kind of green tea, generally, their medical effect is to uh, detoxicate and, and uh, disinfect and cooling, uh, cooling the blood. And so if you drink green tea, uh, then it's very easy for you to uh, excrete. Yeah. It, immediately helps you to clear your intestines. So <coughs> this is one of the functions of green tea, and it's very good at degrease. <coughs> so if you cook the green tea for a while or uh, 
put hot water in the green tea, and those green tea leaves you can uh, place on your face. And if that's not convenient, uh, if you can uh, mash the tea leaves into uh, like, yeah, make it like a, a facial mask and, and apply it on the face, and then uh, you just lie on the armchair or sofa. Uh, for 20 or 30 minutes, and then you wash them away. If you're using it at night, uh, then don't put any other facial cream on your face. Don't put any other facial mask or facial cream. So just keep the face very clean. Then if you want to put any cream, you put the next day. And those people who grow agony, when you buy makeups, I would suggest you to buy those water-based, uh, but not the oil-based makeups. Is that right? They have different uh, kind of makeups, right? So the water-based makeups, they're not very greasy, so it's less likely for you to have uh, acne. When anything that has oil, especially animal oil, it can cause fire, it can therefore lead to acne, but the water base, they don't have any oil, and yeah, if you uh, rub on the, on the clothes, then it's not oily, and those kind of makeup are less likely to cause those fire and less likely to cause those acne, so, uh, so green tea facial mask, so we can make that Ourself. Well, maybe you think you will buy uh, the ready-made green tea facial mask. Well, that's not the same because the readily, mm, yeah, if you buy from the store, they have add a lot of chemicals to preserve it. So you just buy the green tea leaves and then you uh, make them into tea and put the and make the green tea leaves into uh, like a, a paste and, and like a facial mask apply on the face. And it also uh, can, can balance out those uh, fires from your liver. So any of the marks caused by the fire of the liver uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that will really help. So every day you can have. I actually have another recipe to uh, beautify our skin and, uh, and also remove those uh, agnes. Yeah. And so do you want to know the recipe? Mm. Okay, just go to a construction site. You can buy or just ask for some clean, uh, those yellow uh, soil. Yeah, it sounds very, very uh, simple. I heard that in Europe, uh, to dig out those um, Black soil, yeah, it's actually very, very expensive. And some people even go there to take baths there, yeah. Actually, to get the nutrition, you don't need to go to Europe. Just take my way, and it's safer. Uh, in Europe, those where the soil uh, are actually on the bottom of the ocean. But any soil is over at least a hundred million years, right? So according to my knowledge, that's why I don't ask you to go and buy those uh, potting soil because there's a lot of bacteria and fertilizer. So they put a lot of, you know, um, yeah, they put a lot of bacteria there and uh, compost there, so it's good for the potting soil. But those clean yellow soil, if you go to 
Yeah, if you go to construction site and those clean soil, use very clean soil and take a bunch of them and put into your basin or a big bowl and put some lukewarm water and make it into like a paste, not too uh, liquidy and not too thick, and then uh, apply on the face. And you can also apply on the body. So any part of your body you want it to be uh, very tight, then you can apply this paste on the body. And so when I was in Qinghai Plateau, I walk energy bagua at the middle of the night. There was a, a hot spring. At the beginning, I used water from hot spring, and then uh, Grandmaster Ren asked me to use the cold spring water. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and so after I wash with the cold spring water, my skin is so tight, I couldn't even smile. <laughs> so that was just what I felt. So, yeah, so uh, uh, Grandmaster Ren said, if you use uh, warm water, the, the skin it will be very soft. So use cold water, your face will be tight. And also use... Um, that clean yellow soil with some water and make into a paste. Mm, actually, quite liquidish, like a congee. And then you apply on the face. Maybe you can apply quite a lot. And after a while, it's dry. And then you can cook. Yeah. So because you're not going out, you can just wear it when you're doing housework. So maximum. Uh, half an hour, because otherwise you become a, a white skin, and it could even take away the any color on your face. After yeah, after three times, you think that oh, before you were like a Mongolian, and now you're like a Korean, and your face becomes much thinner. <laughs> Because the mud takes away all the grease from your fat, and so uh, use the lukewarm water to mix the soil into uh, like a liquidish paste and apply to your face when it dry and apply another layer, and then maybe at least three layers. After uh, 30 minutes, you wash it away. Yeah, it immediately it will be. Effective. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you don't believe me, you could put on only half of your face, then half of your face would be very tight, and the other face uh, <laughs> would be very loose. And, you know, this is so cheap, you know, for a whole year, you might only cost you $10, and it's also, you know, no um, poison at all, and very safe. And then after you clean it, uh, yeah, then you don't need to put any facial cream on it. Like twice a week, you are already become a beauty. Thank you so much, Grandmata. Oh, some people say it's very hard to find those yellow soil. Uh, Oh, they yeah, in China, they have a lot of soil, that yellow soil. Yeah, they cannot, the soil cannot be exported. Yeah, you cannot export soil. You can only get soil from, yeah, local yellow soil. So that's why I said you should go to construction site. Yeah. When they just starting to uh, dig, the first layer, it, there are lots of soil, and you can get a lot of soil. And if you get some pebbles, uh, you can also take them back. Yeah. And if you heat those pebbles and ask your husband to put the pebbles on your lower back, it really heals the back pain. <laughs> yeah, in those very luxurious bar, they 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 have those pebbles. <laughs> they all come from those construction sites. Just joking.
不腌咸菜，纯粹鹅卵石哈。你要想腌咸菜泡菜要好吃。If you want to make preserved vegetables, then you put the vegetables in the pot, and then you put some stone on it, and then the vegetables are less likely to get rotten. And oh, you don't have any reaction. Maybe you've never made any preserved vegetables. You know. Yeah. Next time I'll teach you how to make preserved vegetables. <laughs> so you just put some water and salt, and and then you put some pebbles on it, and then it's not going to rotten. Yeah, and in the you know nowadays people don't have uh, water jars, but in the water jar, if you put pebbles, then the water is also uh, preserved very clean and fresh. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so everybody who will grow acne will uh, will benefit so much. Grandmaster is joking and said, "I did a lot of beauty surgeons uh, surgeries for many people." Um, Anyways, after you put that facial mask, then your face will be very, very tight. You, then you, you cannot smile. Yeah, you feel the face is so tight. Most importantly, it's very clean. And you know, so many people cannot clean their face. And Sometimes they have a lot of, uh, lot of, you know, uh, moles or acne. It's because in your pores, uh, you know, because of these uh, makeups and those creams and oil, they they come enter the pores, so uh, it's infected. So that's why you have some, uh, yeah. Facial problem, and when you use, yeah, I didn't thought about. Oh, right after. So Joyce was saying, like, oh, if we, if okay, right after you put that facial mask, and then you go out, and then it would be the most likely to find a good boyfriend. Yeah. And Grandmaster said, I only thought about preserving vegetables. Now you're thinking of finding boyfriend. Well, I have to admire you. Uh, Joyce is so brave, always uh, full of hope for life, right? <laughs> it's all because of these agonies and skin tags. So we need to be very positive and brave. Okay, the next. Finally, we come to. Uh, the next, finally transferred to the next. Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, the next one is not very. Uh, yeah, so a five year old girl has been bitten by the dog, and there's a scar on the, on the mouth. And another uh, friend. Uh, yeah, so the dog uh, bite uh, in between the eyebrows, yeah, and so there's a scar over there. So you see, the dog did a lot of things that will uh, uh, disobey the law, the against the law. So this is uh, it's because of karma, and it's caused by that karma. If you have killed that dog or killed that dog's parents, and this life, this dog come back and bite you, is it very normal? Um, and the dog didn't even kill you. Why the dog bite your face? Usually the dogs only bite uh, legs or hands. Yeah, if you want to beat the dog, then the dog might uh, uh, bite your hand, or if, uh, or maybe the dog will bite your leg. If the dog is coming to bite your face, the dog is taking revenge. Yeah, the dog always knows the rule. Uh, yeah, 
bite the face equals to kill this person. So this dog is taking revenge. And therefore, you know, dog's teeth are poisonous. So, uh, yeah, wherever any part of your body if ever been bitten by the dog, then you will always have a scar uh, because of the uh, virus or the poison in the dog. Uh, so just practice and cultivate very well. So at the chanting season, you also need to chant with repentance and repent to all the lives you have hurt before. So then, yes, because otherwise a dog will definitely not bite your, um, your face. Don't think the dogs are very silly. There's always a reason. For that. Oh, thank you, Grandmaster. And next, Xiao Xuan said uh, when she was young, uh, uh, her sister was riding on a bicycle and was carrying her, and she fell down, and her lips were bumped into the handle of the bicycle, and so she had to have quite a few stitches. And so uh, even now, the left side of the cheek is very thick. So what does this represent? Uh, what does this mean? So uh, Grandmaster says, oh, uh, my intuition, my feeling is that before and maybe in her past life that she probably has blasphemed the divine and this is the punishment. So it's because of the karma caused by the mouth. Uh, well, you haven't been killed. This is already good enough. It's just giving you uh, a, a warning. This is a sign. So, so maybe you don't understand uh, deities or divine, but you cannot blaspheme because otherwise disaster can happen at any time. And it can even happen uh, yeah, very strangely. So be careful. Thank you, Grandmaster. So a lot of our online friends, they have a lot of good uh, testimonials I'd, they'd like to share with you. And uh, Erin said she used to have a lot of marks on the left side of her face. And after walk energy bagua for six months, uh, all the marks has been lightened. And so every day she walk energy bagua and she feels very, very happy. So we should understand it. All these marks, now they the color is light. And before, in 1992, 1993, in China, in Guangzhou, there was an old lady, a student, who was already 70, over 70 years old. And she has, you know, on, the, on her face and arms are full of age marks because um, uh, she's already at this age, right? Uh, however, after practice for six months or a year, so all the marks on the arms almost disappeared, and on the face, there's only uh, very light. And if she puts some makeup, then they won't be seen either. And so after she practiced for two years, she grew uh, two wisdom teeth. It's like back to youth. Yeah. And usually after 60 years old, our teeth will start to fall. But at that time, you know, after you, your teeth is lost, it's impossible to grow new ones, right? And before, she used to have only white hair, but half of it back to black. So the new hair is now black. So this is like back to use. This is well practiced. She's like very calm and peaceful. Every day she practiced three hours. It's really effective. And so uh, this online friend, and she says she has uh, her marks on the face is very light. It's very possible. And whether you come to learn meditation from me or walk energy bhagwa with me, it can all have the 
these effects. But I'd like to remind our online friends, uh, very soon it would be summer when you walk energy bagua. You also need to prevent sunburn because the, the sun, uh, because of the pollution in the air. Yeah, so the sun is actually uh, twice as much as, uh, as strong as like uh, 50 years ago. Yeah, because the... Uh, mm. Oh, so the atmosphere has already been has already been affected, and so before, because of that, yeah. So the the sun if directly shines on the face, if it's very serious, the ozone layer has been destroyed. So without the ozone layer, when the sun shines directly on our face, uh, it could even cause skin cancer. So I suggest you when you walk energy, Bagua, you wear the uh, a very big hat. Uh, a few years ago when we were uh, hiking, those Korean people, when they're hiking, they, they have those hats that can cover their face and so can prevent the sun to hurt their skin. So that's why a lot of Korean girls, they can protect their skins very well. And also uh, in Korea, they don't have much sun and they also protect them. So very much. To have uh, a proper yeah. amount of sunshine is good, but in the tropical area like Singapore, Malaysia, and Taiwan, their arms are also exposed because they wear short sleeves. So make sure you will uh, put sunscreen and uh, yeah and. Uh, possibly also wear those long gloves to prevent uh, the, uh, prevent sunburn. Yeah, so we can have both the health and also the beauty. And make sure you also wear a sunscreen to, which has the UV protection. So this... Uh, Online friend walked energy bagua, the signs and the marks becomes lighter. But if you don't care about the sunburn, then it could cause new marks. And oh, uh, this this French, there was yellowish brown patch all over her face before she practiced meditation, and it disappeared after the uh, self cultivation. Yeah, for ladies, a lot of times uh, because of their yeah, at a certain age they uh, they have the endocrine imbalance, and so they have a lot of these marks and yeah. And another one woman said, after learning and practice master meditation methods, the colon spots on my face disappeared. There used to be a uh, calluses on my soul, and it's so hard. But now, uh, well, yeah, before it's even painful for me to wear shoes, but now it also disappeared. But thinking about the calluses uh, under the soul, it's very difficult to remove. It, yeah, it's very difficult to remove. But after so many practices, she, she definitely practiced energy. So after so many practices, first of all, she is full of positive energy. And secondly, uh, her whole meridians are very clear and smooth. So the energy can quickly go through the whole body. So that's why she uh, settles down into the lower abdomen and reach out to the four tips. And so we will also gently touch our teeth and uh, touch our up, upper uh, palate. And so 
When we're going, growing to a certain age, we need to solidify our teeth. You know, when you practice high-level uh, you know, martial arts, you need to solidify your qi and solidify your teeth. And so when you have uh, the pain in your soul, uh, it actually indicates a lot of issues. If you have pain in the soul, then it means that your reproductive system uh, might have problem or your colon has problem uh, or your lower back has problem and if it is the front soul it connects to your heart and liver and uh, spleen and 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 lungs yeah so it's like this yeah so only only if you can practice really well, then the uh, calluses can improve. And so if you can already remove your calluses, then your body is almost like renewed. I think you can live at least 30 years more. Oh my gosh. Let's give her a round of applause. Oh, thank you, Grandmaster. And next uh, is really happy. Oh, our, our, our online friends would be really happy. So this is sharing from Xiaodong. Hello, Master. After following you uh, in uh, self-cultivation, the scars on my eyebrow and face have disappeared. And the scar on my eyebrow cut my eyebrow in half, which indicates a life cut shot. Now the scar disappeared and my eyebrow grew black. Uh, my eyebrow grew back and it's even thicker. Oh my gosh, we also should give a round of applause to this friend. Because we've just learned uh, about the eyebrow. So our eyebrow is the longevity preservation palace, and so this, our eyebrow has something to do with our lifespan. So when our eyebrow is broken in the middle, this is very terrible. Last time I mentioned if the eyebrow is broken in the middle, uh, is if it is not, yeah, if it is not shaved by you, if it just, uh, you know, suddenly has a cut in the middle, it means that your life might be cut there. And so this is very terrible. If the scar disappeared and the eyebrow grows back, it's like you have already established and built back the lifespan. Maybe a disaster that can be fatal, um, it's already been overcome. So this is like <laughs> get back to a new life. And you didn't go to the uh, hospital to, to save your life. So just looking at the change of your eyebrow, you have already passed uh, uh, a huge challenge in your life. And you are really, really uh, fortunate uh, because you believe in, our, in us and believe in our practice and you practice. And so if you lose your hair and you lose your eyebrow and lose your teeth, it definitely means that your energy is insufficient. Your vital energy has consumed too much. That's why it, there's this issue. When you have lots of vital energy, your eyes will be bright, your hair, your uh, eyebrow will grow back, and your eyebrow it's not like you're here. It definitely should have grown. And when you are full of energy, then eyebrows will grow back and your life force energy is grow back. And your lifespan, say for example, uh, at 40 years old, you should have fatal disease. But if you pass that, you might live to 99. Yeah, it's just like that. So this is very auspicious.
Yeah. So there are a lot of people ask meditation masters or cultivators. So what does what would meditation bring us? What would these cultivation bring us? A lot of times it's like a, a renew of life or a transformation. It's like. Uh, and and it's like unbelievable, incredible, and unexplainable, and a rebirth. It's a withered tree revives in the spring. Yeah. So when you come here, first we have a practice, and you. Secondly, you truly practice. If you practice in the wrong way, you might be sick. And you practice it in the right way, and you practice a certain period of time, then you will see the result. So for how long? Uh, it starts from one month, one hour a day, and starting from one month, you start to see some results. You will experience some results. And so we will uh, start to accumulate energy, and it will uh, improve our health and change our way of thinking and even awaken our wisdom. And thank you, Grandmaster. Okay, now. I think today we will not chant first. I will do some energy healing. Thank you, Grandmaster. I have to do some preparations. So I remind our online friends, you can also prepare yourself. In front, you know, in front of the screen, you can prepare some water, you know, some mineral water or tap water, a big bucket of water and rice and uh, maybe uh, nuts and and also those paper towels are uh, very strong towels you can put in front of you. So when Master is doing the healing, so all these water and rice and, and tissues or, or paper towels will also receive the energy, and later we'll tell you how to use them. Um, so when we're receiving the energy healing, especially our online friend, you just need to relax and gently close your eyes, your palms placing on your thighs and facing upwards to receive the energy and relax your body. Some people, when they are receiving the energy healing, you fall asleep, that's fine. Uh, this is a way of receiving energy. These are all good. Okay. So now place your hands on your thighs, facing upwards, receive the energy. Gently close your eyes. Get ready to receive Grandmaster's healing. So now we already started. Now, what am I doing now? I'm doing the energy blessing. Uh, whatever illness you have or whatever frustrations, afflictions you have in your mind, when I'm doing these unexplainable things, maybe your issues will be uh, solved uh, or at least uh, reduced.
脸上长包的呀，还有脸上长到一些不该长的东西。You know, freckles, freckles, marks, or anything that's growing on your face that you don't want. Maybe after the energy blessing, they will disappear. Uh, if people who have uh, disease in your digestion system, maybe starting from today, you will feel hungry. And those who cannot sleep very well, after you see me doing this, you might start to sleep well and sleep through the night. And those people who eat a lot before, after I do this, you will not be hungry. When you see food, you are already full, so you don't need to eat too much. Because eating too much is not um, nurturing your body, but actually bringing a lot of burden to your body. Give me a potato.
就会让各种疼痛消失。To allow all these pain to disappear. I will dig out all your illnesses, whatever kind of illnesses. In Buddha's world, in Buddha's world, these illnesses are just a qi. All these illnesses are just some qi. Unexpected small scales and when the pain is very great. When you have greed or a lot of um, to attach some trivial things because of your uh, ego and greed, and then you have a lot of uh, frustrations and afflictions, and all these afflictions can cause illnesses, and then you have this uh, energy of you know selfishness. I will dig them all out. So then the illnesses will disappear like smoke. The more relaxed you are, the more effective it will be. The more doubt you have, then your body will be very tight. When you are relaxed, the energy of the illnesses will disappear like like smoke, and the more of them uh, dissipate, then you will get better and better. If you have a lot of doubt, your heart is very tight, and then the energy of the illnesses will be more likely to stuck there. Okay, take it away. Now, you can see this is a bowl of soybean. You can see that? If you cannot see, then I'll just pull it there into the bag. These are all those hard afflictions, those greed and anger and, you know, 
uh, don't understand. And these are warnings. These are all your illusions. Mm. A lot of illnesses are caused by these, uh, you know, crazy thoughts. Oh, I want to be a millionaire. Well, you cannot become a millionaire, then you get sick. So these are all these crazy thoughts and expectations. So all your greed and your attachment and your illusions, I will smash them. I will smash all your afflictions. Alright, now with our most sincere heart, let's start chanting. Oh, no. 
是
Let's put our palms together with respect and gratitude. Buddha light shines upon all. Buddha light illuminates our body, mind, and spirit. Every single cell is now compassionate and auspicious. Let's be tolerant, grateful. All right. So today is day five of the chanting class. We shared a lot of the messages from our online friends. They told us uh, their, um, you know, their problems or issues on their face and uh, give us some examples and asked us questions. A lot of the uh, calamities and fate, it's actually, uh, if you just ask, uh, you know, about uh, a mark, a mole, or a walt, and it usually the corresponding cris internal organ will definitely have some issues, and the corresponding, um, you know, calamities is definitely destined to going to happen. When I was um, Giving the energy blessings, I pray for all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas to bless you all. I hope um, all your wishes will be fulfilled and all your afflictions will be removed and all your illnesses will disappear. That's my wish and I believe most compassionate Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are very happy to help all of us who have the karmic bond with them as long as we chant sincerely Buddhas and Bodhisattvas will start to care about us and then our good fortune will start. Just like one of our online friends who shared before her eyebrow used to have a scar and then after some true practice and cultivation this scar disappeared. She probably should have had some setbacks or um, yeah very or obstacles but because of the cultivation, this disaster may not happen and she may be even happier and healthier than 
normal people and her ha family will be very prosperous and very harmonious. And so if we understand some um, physiognomy and uh, also the relationship between our facial appearance and health, yeah, we talked about all these marks and moles, uh, what they indicate uh, our fate. They're actually all together. I've shared some of the knowledge about that. So what kind of constitution will cause what kind of personality and what will uh, cause, what kind of state would it cause? And would you be very noble or very poor? And these will all, these knowledges are, you know, all here and I will gradually share them with you. So you, as uh, a friend who has a comic bond with me, I hope you will learn these and will be able to read and understand yourself and also others so that our life can be improved. And if you have the ability, you can also help others, not for your own own uh, interest, but just um, help without asking for anything. This energy will be even greater to transform ourselves. So when we cultivate, we need to focus on our heart and focus on that thought. Some of our new friends maybe just come here, you probably don't understand. Um, what I mean is that our initial thought, every thought should be compassionate and kind. In this society, there are all, all kinds of um, cheating or, you know, uh, like big fish will eat the small fish and these competitions and, yeah. The Buddhi Buddhist teaching also accepts that the society is like this, but Buddha is most compassionate. He will save all. As long as we have a compassionate heart, our fate will definitely be transformed. And all these facial features and our fate will definitely be transformed and changed. Uh, Joyce and Christine, do you have anything else to say? So tomorrow when we chant, uh, just to prepare all the water and rice and uh, yeah, all these things to receive the blessings and energy. Yeah, now because of the pandemic, uh, but with the internet, uh, you know, it's inconvenient because of the pandemic, but also convenient. Um, you're just like, you're right in front of me. And even if you are like 10,000 miles away, you will still benefit just as if you're right in front of me. Some of the gifts, because uh, you're so far away, will, won't be convenient to send to you. And you can uh, watch, yeah. So um, when you watch uh, this live stream, or even if you watch later, you will definitely benefit and all the things that you place in front of the screen. So, you know, those uh, mm, paper towels, uh, that one uh, is very durable. And there are also those Kleenex tissues, very soft. If you put them here um, to receive blessings, yeah, sometimes you need very um, durable ones, and sometimes you need very soft tissues, and maybe some mineral water and some fruit and some uh, grains, different grains. So when you eat all those um, blessed food, it's a very good way. Uh, they, are, they will become very good media to bring us health and happiness. So uh, prepare more so that we can um, bless more days, and then it, they will be even more 
uh, beneficial. And so it's already uh, two hours and a half, so we won't teach more because a lot of our online friends, they still have a lot of other arrangements. So I've already done a lot. I've also uh, performed the energy blessings. I wish you all health, happiness, auspiciousness, and wish fulfillment. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time.大慈大悲的佛陀，天地间最尊贵的觉者，我以至真至诚之心，感恩您的降临。是你的呵护。让我走出紧紧是你的妙法让我身心安康是你的博爱让我还能让我永世追随我愿切万次轮回拜倒在您脚下安安久与您重逢承接您发造我愿切万次轮回将您的慈悲播撒凌若者寻常甘露让一切众生自在吉祥